on everyone welcome back to another video rachel and i are out here on my boat today experiencing the huntington beach air show um, probably one of my favorite times of year is to come out here anchor up and watch these awesome jets and planes just fly over and do some incredible stuff but today is also the lobster opener so after the air show we're going to go drop some hoop nets and hopefully catch our liminal lobster and make some delicious lobster can't wait fried rice baked lobster all of it i don't know it's we'll, my favorite time we haven't year. decided what we want to make for you guys but stay tuned should be a fun one it's all quiet It. <laughs> I tried. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's a bird. That's a bird.
right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed those clips of the air show. It was a great time. But before we get into dropping the actual hoop nets and us pulling the hoop nets, what's up, buddy? I just want to run through how I rig up my hoop nets. Um, for anything less than probably 60 feet, I just run this 75 foot shot line right here. It's a bigger diameter. When I'm fishing deeper, I do use that thinner stuff just because if there's any current and just with more line, it creates more drag. I do weight my traps if I'm fishing deeper than 60 feet, but anything shallower than that, I use this line. I don't know the diameter off the top of my head, but I keep them in the 75 foot shots right here. On the tag end, I just put a little zip tie and just a sinker right there. Probably any, anything from three to six ounces is perfect. Rigging up the, the buoy here, I just have a strip of um, reflective tape. Reflective tape, the stickiness to it's pretty terrible, at least the stuff I've found. So I just have this electrical tape on the outside to keep it stuck to it. You guys can figure out something better than that. It's actually kind of crude, but whatever, it works for me. And I put another sinker on the end here and I just chop a little hole in the top there for the glow stick. So I just stick the glow stick in there weights on the bottom so it floats like this glow stick straight up and i run the line through the flat end that way when we're pulling the buoys we know what end has the tag line or the sinker on it all right so i run that through this way and i'm just going to do a quick bowline knot uh, if you're not familiar with the bowline knot i highly recommend you look it up because it's probably the most efficient easiest knot to tie and it's the most reliable so once the bait's in there, I can chuck the hoop net out. And as it sinks, I can throw the buoy out and that line will sink through. And since the tag end is weighted, um, that will keep any of that floating line from fouling my prop or anyone's prop that's, that's driving by. Also, just a quick rundown of how we do it, but let's get to the hooping. Look at that, look at that technique. Remember, once you get it up, clear clear the buoy off the rail. Clear the buoy off the rail. Nice. In the boat. And... Look at that shoe. Look at that one's got a chunk. It's got a chunk of it. You can keep it. All right, you got the gloves on. You get them out. Yeah, they're also like super pricey. Look how tiny that one is. That's a crawdad, dude. That, that's large enough bass bait right there. Okay. Look at that little bunch. Yeah. Oh, I was like, where'd he go? <laughs> he said, ow. Look at how cute he is. Yeah. should name that one. How about Larry? Larry the Lobster, that's SpongeBob, dude. Come on. <laughs> You're more creative than that. That's... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, and goodbye. Oh, smell that. <laughs> Mackerel. Like, wait, that's not a lobster. <laughs> that one's obviously short. It fell through. He was holding on to that chunk of meat right there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Rachel's got her gloves on. I have to remember how to pick them up. Well, you got gloves now. Last time you were barehanded. Yeah, but so remember, grab. I know that there's a part. <laughs> there's a part that I don't want to. No, you're fine there. So that's hold it upside down again. It's a female, actually. So yeah. that one's feisty. It's a little crawdad, little crawdaddy. Can I throw it back? Craw mommy? Yeah, that one goes back. Wait, don't keep it. That one might be close. So. Rachel, here's the gauge. We have, don't drop them over. Oh, sea lions. So here we have the lobster, three and a quarter on this side, crab on this side, four inches. Again, Rachel's gonna show you, you measure between the horns to the end of the carapace. Yeah, carapace. Get them out of here. Can yank them. Give me a little yank. I don't want him to you won't. break his oh, feet. There oh. <laughs> All right. All right. I think he's legal. But he's going to be close. This one's okay. very, very close. So above the horn. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's definitely legal size, actually. Nice. First pull, that's one legal. Yee! Let's go, baby. Hi, you're coming home with us. Yeah, hold that one up. Pull, baby, pull. Pull, baby, pull. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Doing great, doing great. Making her do all the labor. Yeah. And get it up, 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 up. Ooh, okay. Ah, that, that one's, one's, that one might be legal. 
That one right there. These right. two are short. Yeah, so then throw those ones out. That one's gonna be close again. Oh, they're feisty. There you go. Okay. All right. Remember, grab from the bottom. Let me just get him out first. <laughs> they're <laughs> kind of scary, okay? Like, you yeah, gotta they, get used to them. They can be. They're like little aliens. Like, oh yeah, that one is legal. Yeah. Don't throw it over the boat. <laughs> this one's just like, I know I'm about to die. Yeah. You just gotta do it. Okay. Grab. So I'll never go like two fingers between their legs. It's much easier. Right there. Let me yeah. like grab my hand. Ow. Okay. Hold the light. Let's get it's a like measure. Like so that. make sure I'm looking at. All right, lobster. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Number two. Yeah, buddy. Right. Yep, that's a female. Again, the females. Hold that for me, baby. The females have these bigger. Uh, I'm not a scientist. Perhaps? I don't know what these are. I think they're called flappy doodahs, but that's where they <laughs> hold the wings. Butterfly what? <laughs> that's where they hold the eggs there. So, yes, sir. You've done your service, yep. and now you're gonna do my service <laughs> in my belly. All right, that one's going in the box. That's right. number two. Whee! There we go. There we go. Great. The first one that you pull up. <laughs> Look at that fanny, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Nice bad. one. Hell yeah. That's a big mamma jamma. Shouty. Hey bud. This one though. Dude, that's a good one, man. Are Look at serious? that one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice big male too. Check that one out. That's one of the ones you don't even need to measure. So sick. Yeah. Nice one. All right, we're picking away at them. That's number three. Pull, 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 pull. Rachel's pulling. What do we got? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh. Yeah, that's illegal. See, see what I said? It's illegal. It's legal size. It's illegal. Like it's, it's legal, guys. It's illegal. A legal size. <laughs> Same thing as last year. I keep saying a legal, and it sounds like illegal. All right, guys. Back in the kitchen now. We have two beautiful lobster tails that we call them the lobster opener. Uh, we had a great time out on the water. We went and watched the air show and then we dropped a few sets uh, on the opener. Honestly, it was pretty slow for us. We didn't want to stay out super late. We ended up with six legal lobster, which isn't what we were hoping for, but then at the same time, with that full moon, they just weren't, weren't really crawling. We didn't even catch that many short lobster in any, any of the traps. So we called it a little bit early. Still happy to get some uh, delicious lobster tails. So we have these here. I'm gonna throw these in the boiling water. We're also gonna make artichokes and some baked potato. Um, the reason I like to throw the lobster tail in the boiling water before I put them in the oven is because it actually helps separate the meat from the shell. So once they're in there for about maybe a minute, I'll take scissors and cut straight down the top here and I'll be able to pull the meat out and set it back on top cover it in a bunch of butter and uh, garlic, and we're gonna throw that in the oven, and yeah, it should be pretty delicious. So since I boiled the lobster, 
see how easy the meat pulled out from the shell? If you look on the inside there, it's still not cooked all the way through. So that's why we're gonna throw it back in the oven with the garlic butter and just kind of crisp it up a little bit. It's been about 40 minutes since we put the baked potato in. We boiled the artichoke. I'm just going to baste it with this garlic butter. Mm. <laughs> exactly. It smells so good. So the baked potatoes should be done shortly. These are already basically cooked. What we're doing is just putting them in the oven at 450 just to kind of crisp them up. And then I'm also gonna put that, um, that Parmesan on the top. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the lobster. I did add a little bit of oil on there as well, but I'm really trying to get some of that garlic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. <laughs> Media coming through. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my god, where are the butter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little love tap there. Looks terrible. Alright. So then we have our baked potato, our lobster, and artichoke with the parmesan and garlic butter. We also have some more garlic butter here to dip probably all of this in there. And we're gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon. Some of the lemon just got into the cut on my thumb and it feels great. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> she said yay. Green onion. That looks so good. I, mean, let's, I don't want to waste a green onion, right? So let's put that on there. Also, I do have some chilies here from my mom's garden. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of that. That also just got in the cut on my thumb. Shout Doesn't out to feel great. A little spice, never hurt nobody. We're gonna dig in, let's go. Do you miss lobster season or what? <laughs> this is why I stick around. <laughs> the truth comes out. Not surprised. <laughs> Alright. I gotta try it. It's it's been a minute since I've had lobster, so. Flinging around over there. A little butter dip. And we're back. That's so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're we're about to eat our weight in butter tonight with the lobster, potato, and artichoke. But lobster opener only comes around what? Once a year. So good. Oh my god. We're gonna dig into this, finish all this off, probably come back for more because we did end up with four and more lobster tails. Right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get back out there soon, catch some more lobster. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. We've got plenty of more videos coming your way. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.